to a hole while I talk about ta Coates because he has he's done something. He said that he's going to vote for Bernie Sanders, but then I'll show you what he said on Twitter later. This is from Democracy Now. Hopefully I won't get a copyright infringement, but I want you to see his expression. You have to see his expression to understand why it's worth talking about. And he took to Twitter to defend Sanders after you criticized him mm -hmm. for not supporting reparations. Mm -hmm. Killer Mike tweeted, the truth of my support is this. I am pro reparations for any people used and abused like blacks have been here and other places. And quote, I believe the government of this country will never do this, but I can have a POTUS uh, who will be open to a federal loan program to help and quote, candidate that I think would be most sensitive to the very accomplishable goal and the other things that can will help black people is Sanders. Okay, let me stop it there just so I can uh, mess with Google's algorithm and to set it up again. So she's talking to ta Coates and she's giving Killer Mike's rebuttal to ta Coates' first criticism of Bernie Sanders. You guys are smart. You follow along. You know exactly what's happening. But uh, let me just pretend like I needed to explain it again so I could stop it at 30 seconds and start it again. Here we go. That's Killer Mike. There's actually very little in that statement right there that I disagree with. Um, one can be very, very critical of, 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 of uh, Senator Sanders on this specific issue. One can say Senator Sanders should have more you know, explicit uh, anti-racist policy within his racial justice uh, platform, not just more general stuff, and still cast a vote for Senator Sanders and still feel that Senator Sanders is the best uh, option that we have in the race. But just because that's who you're going to vote for doesn't mean you then have to agree with everything they say. Will you be voting for Senator mm -hmm. Sanders? <laughs> I will be voting for Senator Sanders. I have tried to avoid this question, but I, yes, I will be voting for Senator Sanders. Um, I try to avoid that because I, 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 I want to write as a journalist, you know what I mean, and separate that from my role as, I don't know, a private citizen. Um, and I don't know I either. I don't think much is accomplished by ducking the question. Yes, I will vote for Senator Sanders. My son influenced me. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Blame it on your son. All right, so I guess we can applaud him. He's voting for Senator Sanders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, then he took to Twitter. He took to Twitter and gave this um, all of these equivocations explaining why he's supporting Bernie Sanders um, and why we shouldn't get excited about him. Well, hell, ta don't worry. I didn't get excited in the first place. You know, um, the reason I didn't get excited in the first place was because, um, well, I'll explain why. Once I, I want to read, I want you to read it in his own words. I'm pulling it up on my Twitter. Oh, my good God, my tooth hurts. Uh, I'm bringing it up on Twitter now. But essentially, he's saying, as I pull it up and I fill a buster, he says that he's not, um, he, he only announced that because he doesn't want to dodge questions when he's made a career of keeping people from dodging questions. And he says, uh, let's, let's read them for you. Um, yeah, so he says, so yeah, oh, actually, I can start here. And given that I generally go after people for just those sorts of evasions, I don't think it was much else to do here but admit. He said, but that's me, the citizen. Me, the writer, doesn't speak for anyone else and doesn't intend to try to sway anyone else. Okay. Mm. I wish my mouth was working good here. As a writer, I don't intend to speak for anyone else and I don't intend to sway or try to sway anyone else. I know you can have a million reasons to write, but let's not pretend, Tanahasi, that your words don't have the effect of speaking for other people and persuading the people. All right, let's let's just dispel with the pretense. Everything that we do as public figures, me, even me in my in my microcosm of a platform. I speak for other people because the words I say resonate with other people. It's not that I'm putting words in their mouth. It's that the words that are coming out of my mouth line up with what they've already been thinking. So I do speak for other people. Number two, as we speak, we have the ability to sway other people. And so when you wrote your piece about uh, Bernie Sanders and reparations, you can claim that you weren't trying to sway people, but it has the effect of swaying people. And for you to hide and, 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 and to chase around and, and to uh, all these evasive maneuvers over why you are going to vote for Bernie Sanders. But at the end, he says, at the end, this is what he says. 
Addendum, no reason to be particularly excited about my personal vote. I'm still gonna keep writing like I'm writing. So yeah, this ain't feeling the burn. It's just trying to be a decent citizen and as transparent as I can be. Really? Where's my, where's my clip? Y you know, no, that's not. So you get nothing, you lose. Good day, sir. If you're going to, this is, this is, this is, this is the bigger thing. The bigger thing is there's this game that people in public uh, positions try to play and they try to ride the fence as long as they possibly can and never reveal their hand as to who they endorse. This allows them to do the bidding of whatever they feel like doing the bidding that particular day, right? They, they're not necessarily doing the bidding of some master. They're just doing the bidding of whatever they feel like doing sometimes. But then it also allows another group of people to say, I'm never going to endorse anyone. All I have to do is attack X. And by attacking X, that's going to do the same job as if I supported Y. Let me make it more clear. I don't have to attack, um, I don't have to endorse Hillary Clinton. All I have to do is attack Bernie Sanders. And by attacking Bernie Sanders, that's gonna have the same effect as supporting Hillary Clinton. And so this, this idea that you want to keep your, in your, your support for a candidate private, even though you want to wade into the political discourse around a candidate, to me is highly disingenuous. Now you could do whatever you want to do. I'm not telling him he has to do anything. He doesn't have to be excited about it. And, and we're not excited about it, whatever. You support Bernie Sanders, whoop de doo but you're not going to endorse. Let me read the rest of his statement. I'm not just saying this. Um, mm -hmm. Because I, I put people on the spot, blah, 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 seem to be done against endorsements. This is the, hang on, where is it? Oh, well, that was it. So yeah, this ain't filling the burn. So he made it clear. I'm not endorsing Bernie Sanders. I'm just going to vote for Bernie Sanders. And then you had all of the people on his timeline saying, man, you should have just kept that to yourself. You should have just kept that. Enough with the games already. If you support the man and you want to hold him more accountable, then just do that. You don't have to go and stomp for him. But don't pretend as though your words that you write in your platform uh, uh, with millions of people reading you is not one in which you have the effect of speaking for people and changing the opinions of people. That's number one. And then number two, you know, I guess just for me where I'm from in the South, <laughs> we say what we mean and we mean what we say. We're not going to support. We're not going to halfway support you. If we're with you, we're with you. And that's why I start, I stopped a long time ago from, from when people ask me, who am I supporting in the election? I would just say, I'm going to support whoever the progressive is. That was my way of getting around the question. Enough of that. It's time out for that because we're at a very pivotal stage where you need to make it clear. What side do you fall on in this great divide that is emerging in the Democratic Party or people who lean left? You know, it's not even about the party so much as it is people leaning left. Um, are you falling on the side that doesn't want to have the conversation about class? Or are you saying it's time that we finally have conversations about class in America and it's time that we start doing things to support the, uh, to help poor people move into the middle class and help sustain and grow the middle class even further. And then of course, Michelle Alexander got in the conversation, but I'm, I'm, I'm running low on juice. Uh, I may not be able to get to Michelle. Five